Today, we'll start working with local filters and learn why they're such an essential tool in every photographer's toolbox. I've already edited this image a little bit, removed some spots and added some details to the eyes. Now I'm going to use local filters in order to fade the background and give the photo a retro look. I'm starting with the old days paper effect, which is a warm black and white filter. And on top of that, I'll add the darken filter. I swipe to the left and right in order to find the particular level of the darken filter that will work best. Now this is the effect I want to see on the background, but I don't want it on my subject. So, I choose the wipe tool, which will allow me to remove the filter effect from any part of the image. In order to reapply the filter to the regions where I wasn't careful enough, I can use the apply tool. Okay, we've already added a nice faded look to the background. Now I want to add a texture to the background so that we get a nice grungy effect. Let's tweak the darken level a little bit more. My last step is to add a subtle vignetting pattern from the lens menu. Okay, as you can see, we added this nice effect to the background, which helps our subject pop out of the image. This is only one example of what can be done with local filters. We'll see some more in the upcoming tutorials. In Facetune's latest update, we reintroduced the lens feature, restored the lighting presets, increased the working resolutions to that of up to 12 megapixels, added Spanish and Russian versions of the app, and fixed many bugs related to the transition to iOS 7. We would appreciate it if you'd leave us feedback or simply rate the current version of Facetune in the App Store. Thank you, and that's all for today.